With a name like Grapple, he better be good at wrestling, or have an endless supply of hooks. One or the other. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Voyager class, Grapple! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, Earthrise War for Cybertron, his name is Grapple Transformers. On this side of the box we have the lovely, lovely... Siege. I mean, Siege. Earthrise artwork. I got so used to saying Siege. Earthrise, War for Cybertron. On this side of the box, we have Grapple All Like. You're scared of the claw. You're scared of the claw. Here's a Voyager class, a class of your journey. Voyager class A, class of your head on a class A Voyager. Up top, War for Cybertron. Bloody, bloody, bloody. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this and that, and things and stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. And also included, of course, is the uh, little decoder here for the box insert. And the weird thing about uh, Grapple's box insert is it does not have a uh, it doesn't have a planet anywhere listed on it. All the red is just the uh, the lines, but there's no there's no planet name around here anywhere. It's just it's not there. It's nowhere. It's nowhere. He has none. He has none. Oh well, I don't care. And moving right along here, we have Grapple, the first of the Voyagers in this first wave of Earthrise. And here is Grapple in his vehicle mode, all nice and orange. There's a whole lot of orange going on here. There's a whole lot of grapply orange. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the detail. You can see the front here done. It's some nice silver. You have some transclear and blue plastic there for the headlights as well as the windshield. And windows, nice Autobot symbol right there up front. And you got the rims of all of the wheels done in orange. You got the big old hook, hook, give us a hook. Got the uh, little caution stripes. All that good stuff, some nice little details. You got some silver there. As you can, you can pretty much see how the transformation is gonna work. It's the typical, you know, Inferno grapple transformation. So it's, it's nothing, uh, Nothing new here as far as how he works. It's pretty blatantly obvious how he works, but still, all in all, it's not too shabby. There's the top, there's the bottom. On this side, you can see this is where his uh, little hose hand, cannon hand, kind of stores there. He does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with Cliff Jumper, with Jackie with hoist with ironworks and with optimus prime and can he fit in the trailer can he can he let's see let's see there you go <laughs> that much of him anyway that's pretty much the best you can do there there you go that's yeah that's 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 that okay so there you go now as far as uh, articulation goes uh this section here can move up and down can actually move all the way back if you need it to and it moves all the way back for uh for transformation if you need it to it can also rotate into a full 360 this section here can collapse like so it will lock into place once it gets all the way to the end here and locks out so you can move that. The hook is on a hinge, so it can swing up, swing back, if you need it to. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it there for any moving parts. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his gun right here, just done all in black. Very reminiscent of uh, the gun the G1 figure had. And you can store this on the vehicle mode. Yeah, ports on either side here his arms like to come unpegged here stop it you can peg it to either side like so just plug it in plug it in and you got that stored right there you do also get the uh, the claw the claw you get the claw a couple things you can do with the claw you can just swing this hook back and this can plug in 
right there so he can so he can claw so you can claw things you can do that however you want and the claw itself does have a uh, a clip point here so you can take this and you know attach it to ironworks if you want to or attach it to uh the prime do that attach it to hoist you know his uh little towing platform you can attach it to that too if you want to because reasons or attach it to your bases whatever you want to do hey it's yours do whatever you want with it but you can also store this on the vehicle mode you can just plug it onto the other side here like so that looks kind of weird but hey it's storage if you want storage and that is pretty much it so yeah that is basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> so, let us remove his accoutrement and put that off to the side, and we shall begin. So, the first thing you want to do is take this and collapse that in. You want to swing this all the way back until it thoops into place right there. Let me raise up so I have some room to operate. Once we do that, we just unpeg his arms from this section here, and all this will just swing forward like that. At this point, we want to split the arms. They will come forward, and they will just tab in right in there. Tab it in, tab it in. Kind of want to give it a good squeeze there, make sure everything is, uh, everything is just nice and squozen. We'll get that together and we'll leave that like that for now you want to take this whole section here and this will unpeg from the bottoms of his feet and this does peg in quite securely there we go get one foot out get the other foot out and once you do that you can take his feet and they will just come up and back like so up and back like so and then this section here will collapse down like that flip this box around to reveal the head and then this will fold up on this hinge fold down fold back up and this will come up and just clip in right in there so just line that up and that should snap into place like so and then we just rotate his arms so the elbows are oriented properly and We'll give him two proper hands for now, and his hands just flip out, and hand just flips out. This one is really stiff. There we go, that one's locked in place. That snaps into place. And there you go, there you have Grapple in his robot mode. And that's a grapply looking grapple if there ever was a grapple. And we better get an Inferno remote of this. We better. We has mm rope. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Better get one. We better get Inferno. But anyway, there is grapple. He looks quite good. He looks quite good in my opinion. Oh, this you can kind of just fold up like that, make it a little bit more compact, you know. But yeah, I think he looks quite, quite good. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. He kind of looks possessed there. That's just weird. His eyes are painted blue, you can see, but like the orange, I think his head is like done out of the transparent plastic. And the way all this kind of glows in there, there's no actual light piping. It's just kind of the way just the, I don't know, it just looks weird to me but you know hey it is way there's nice silver on the face but yeah those eyes just end up looking kind of kind of weird in there i don't know I, I i don't know i don't know about that but anyway here's a big old chest here got the shoulder pieces done in silver you get of full detail throughout the crotch your region there got those bits of orange on the thighs nice detail on the legs here's big old feet He's got them big old feet. And you know, the typical grapple backpack going on there. But all in all, not too shabby. I think he looks pretty good. Now, articulation-wise, the head can rotate. It's just on a mushroom peg here, so it's just rotation. Can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. You get bicep rotation. You have slightly over 90 degrees of bend there 
at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist. You do have inward movement due to transformation, but no rotation. You do have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. Now, if you undo these, uh, these hinges here, you can have the foot move up, have it move down, and you do have your ankle tiltage. Now, if you want to get the, you know, proper grapple look, we can take this bit here off and just flip his hand back in. We can plug it in, plug it in. There you go. Now he looks a lot more grapply there. You can do that if you want. Of course, we can give him his gun. You can store it back here on the same ports that they stored in vehicle mode, if you wish. You can store his weapons. But of course, you can also hold it. So we can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, squirt, squirt, bang, bang. That didn't sound right. That didn't sound right at all. Anyway, you can also give him the claw. The claw. You can give him the claw, too. And you can just flip his other hand in. You can just plug that in there if you want. And you can have the claw. So, you know, hey, all things you can do if you want to do them. Me, personally, I don't like him having the claw hand. Um, now, as far as the instructions go, they tell you to just kind of store it on one of these ports. So it's just kind of sticking out the side there, which... That doesn't look too good. I don't really care too much for how that looks stored there. I wish it kind of like clipped onto this somehow. That that would have been nice. It was a way to just kind of clip it on there. But you know, and, and the best I can kind of figure out myself anyway is just to kind of plug it in there and just kind of have it hanging down. I don't know. It'd be, I'm not that big a fan of this just because it just doesn't store anywhere elegantly. But you know, I don't know. We can have a claw shoulder. I don't know claw. Uh, uh, a claw shin. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know. <laughs> claw. The, the the claw forearm. I don't. I don't know. There's nowhere for this. I don't. I don't know. We're just gonna put that off this side. <laughs> this is gonna go in the. Uh, this is gonna go in the land of misfit accessories drawer. That's where this is gonna go, really. But oh no. Hey, it's yours. Do what you want with it. But I just give him his gun. Pew pew bang bang. Pew pew bang bang. That's all he needs, as far as I'm concerned. And of course he is bluish compatible. We can bring in my favorite effects parts, Jetfire's effects parts. And he does have a uh, bluishing point here on his chest. So we can get bluished in the chest. Um, he does have a, a post here, but it's it doesn't work for the bluish. It doesn't work for the bluish. He has one on his shoulder, which doesn't quite work either. And I, uh, that doesn't work. Um, you, can get, <laughs> you can get bluished in the knee, kind of. Again, that's like the whole, there you go. You kind of get bluish in the knee. You kind of get bluish in the foot. A foot bluish. Foot bluish. Kick off your Sunday shoes. I don't know. And, uh, he, hey, the, the, the bluish is falling apart. None of this is going well. None of this is going well today. He has a bluish point on his back for some reason. That can, that's a thing. That's a thing you can do. If you want to do it, hey. And, of course, you can plug them into the bottoms of his feet so he can bluish. He can bluish off into space. But of course, of course, you know where we're going with this. You know really what these are meant for. You can plug one on here, and we can plug one on here. And this one, this one doesn't hold. This one doesn't. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you take this moment away from me? How dare you? You know what? what, what you can get a big old double. <gasps> They both fell off. They both, that, that just, that just, that, I'm heartbroken right now. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. I'm just, I'm just sad now. I'm sad. It just, that was an unsuccessful bloosh. An unsuccessful double bloosh. That's just, anyway. So there you have that. And, um, and now for comparison. Here he is with uh, Cliff Jumper. It's okay, I'll get over it. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Here he is with Cliff Jumper. And here he is with Wheeljack. With Hoist. With Ironworks. And lastly but not leastly, with Optimus Prime. So, there you go. 
So there you have Grapple, and uh, yeah, I think he's one of my favorite figures of this first wave of Earthrise. I really dig him, you know, he just has a, he has a presence to him. I don't know, I dig him. Minor complaints I have is just the way his eyes are painted, just ends up making things look kind of weird in there, but I can get over that. Um, you know, his his lack of bluish potential, you know, is, is kind of disappointing. I don't think he has as much bluish potential as he could have, as he should have, but you know, again, that's something I can get over. But all in all, I think he's a well-done figure, and like I said, I think he's one of my favorites of this first wave, so... There you go! Now these figures are starting to pop up in the stores, so check your Targets, check your Walmarts. Of course, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Earthrise Voyager Class Grapple, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! That sounded horrible. Hey, hey, Prime, look! I got Cliff Jumper to rise. <laughs> oh, that's, that's adorable. Not quite what I was talking about, but still, that's, that's just cute. I swear to Primus, when you put me down, I will murder you. Ah! <laughs> Gotta catch me first! Ah! He's little, he can't run very fast. You know... I'm feeling very disrespected, but at the same time, empowered. <laughs>